Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode. I just want to give a real quick shout out to everyone watching this on the toilet right now. Well, we're still in quarantine and I want to go shoot some photos, but what can I take photos of if I can't go outside? No, no. Oh yeah, I forgot about this channel's biggest star. Lately, you guys have been filling my DMs with requests for more Baxter in these videos, so I figured now's as good a time as any to get this photo shoot happening. Baxter is actually having minor surgery next week, so he'll be a little shaved and a little coned, which I'm sure will make all the neighborhood dogs lose all respect for him. Hell, I'll surely be laughing. Don't worry about his surgery too much, it's non-invasive. We're just getting him a longer pair of legs gas-powered robot legs. The vets assure us that he'll be able to run faster than a cheetah and also launch himself more than 250 feet in the air, giving Air Bud a run for his money. Hopefully Baxter's newfound epic dunking skills will be able to bring my basketball crew together as a team to win the championship and then make 11 sequels. So yeah, this video is just going to be a bunch of pictures of Baxter, otherwise not a whole lot of substance. But do any of these videos really have any substance? Now, what should I shoot with? I decided to shoot with the Nishika N8000 because I thought some 3D photos might better illustrate Baxter's sausage-like physique and short turkey legs. Now, you may remember that the Nishika and I have sort of a troubled past after it burned down my house, killed my parents, frauded my bank account, and framed me for murder. But I'm willing to let bygones be bygones with this plastic piece of sh 90s nostalgia. For those of you that are unaware, this camera shoots four half frame photos in the same split second from four different angles so that you can later take the images and post them all together in sort of a 3D wiggly composition. It's pretty cool, but it's also a pain in the ass to assemble. The last time I shot this camera was in Palm Springs, and I'd say about half the roll didn't turn out because the winder on the camera is a plastic piece of literal fresh steaming horse shit. There's also almost no settings on this camera other than sun, sun cloud, and cloud indoor. So I loaded up the Nishika with some Portra 400, but before I was able to take a shot, I was having some issues with the metering because you can't say Nishika without saying problem. After comparing my phone's light meter to an actual handheld light meter, I figured out that I had set my phone's light meter to 60 seconds instead of 1 60th of a second, which is the only shutter speed on the Nishika. Clearly, I've never metered in my life before. As previously mentioned, Baxter pretty much just sleeps all day in the office while we work. He only really ever gets up to go check and see if there's any food we dropped. Baxter, I'm sure your wolf ancestors who scrap for food in the biting cold would be very proud of you. Back in the office, I fired off some regular shots and some flash shots while Baxter was trying to sleep, which I'm sure was a lot of fun for him. The lenses on the Nishika are equivalent to about a 30 millimeter lens and they're made of plastic instead of glass, so the picture quality is not the best. We don't really know a whole lot about Baxter's life before we came into the picture, but from clues and whatnot, we've kind of determined that it wasn't really a walk in the park for him, which is also conveniently his favorite thing to do.
how we adopted Baxter is kind of an interesting story. At the time, Monica and I were working on a farm in like the middle of nowhere. And uh, one night we saw this like flash of light and a streak and uh, we saw a meteorite crash into the field. Upon further investigation, we found a little alien puppy. As he grew up and got older, he used his newfound powers and heat vision to blow up the neighborhood cats. And to teach Baxter a lesson about hiding his identity for the greater good, I walked into a tornado for some reason. Oh yeah, I was also a 60 year old man. The real story is, uh, we had been looking to rescue a dog and we found a listing for Baxter at a local German Shepherd rescue. At the rescue, little Baxter was being fed German Shepherd sized proportions. So he ballooned up real quick, like me after I eat a couple pints of Ben and Jerry's caramel chocolate cheesecake truffles, which my local grocery store doesn't stock anymore because clearly they're a-holes who derive pleasure from watching me suffer. The story that the rescue told us was that Baxter just showed up at their front door one morning like he was at the police station turning himself in for a crime. So they took him in and he became the office dog for a few months until we came along and snatched his goofy ass up. We've had him for a little over a year now and honestly he's just the perfect dog for us. Although he does seem to know when a camera is out and about to take his photo because he thinks it's funny to look away at the last second. Ever elusive. Next day we took Baxter to his favorite place on the planet, in and out We don't want Baxter to associate riding in the car with going to the vet, which is basically 1970s Vietnam to him. So at the end of this trip, he gets a little treat. Why is in and out Baxter's favorite place on earth? Well, it's because, like his old man, Baxter is very hairy and loves food. He doesn't get to go to In-N-Out very often, but when he does, he gets something called a puppy patty. And, um, one puppy patty. Oh yes, perfect, thank you so much. After we washed Baxter off with copious amounts of Axe body wash and gave him a fine coat of Axe body spray, he was ready to resume his daily activities. And best of all, Baxter's surgery went very well and he's handling recovery like a champ. We ultimately decided not to go with the robot legs as the vet said it just made him too powerful. As for the Nishika, 
I guess I'll hold on to it. I shot three rolls on this go around and honestly it took literally forever to put together all of these wiggle grams or wiggle 3D compositions or whatever the f you want to call them. But at least the end result looks kind of cool. So that's it. That's all I have. Now stop asking me for Baxter videos.